Hello everyone, this is Evie the Original Master here, and welcome back to Papa Louie 3 When Sundays Attack. So in this video, we are actually going to be doing some backtracking and finishing up the missions for levels 2, 3, and 4. And then in the next video, we will be starting level 5. So yeah, this is what we will be doing in this video today. Even though I stated that um, in the previous video that I'll be doing levels 4... Uh, the, finishing the missions of that, but I realized that I have to do some other missions first before I can move on. All right, so I'm playing as Lisa right now because I am going to use her for the 100 coins, and her special skill is a dash. So to do a dash, you're gonna have to crouch and press the space bar uh, to dash. So yeah, she has that uh, that that shoulder bust move uh, from the from the Wario Land games. And I'm pretty am sure that's what the, the the move was inspired by. And we also need Oh yeah, okay, never mind. Uh I was going to say there's going to be another mission in this level, but there really isn't. So uh apologies for that. But yeah, uh, Lisa's weapon of choice is a, uh, a jump rope, because I guess she's into fitness. She probably likes a jump rope in her spare time while she's not ordering garbage from these Papa Louie restaurants. Which is good for her, because it's always good to work out after you eat, especially very unhealthy foods. <laughs> because let's be real here, Papa Louie does not serve anything healthy in his restaurants like at all because he's greedy that way <clears throat> and i had to swim right into that fish because i don't know <laughs> All right, before we head out, we're gonna come back up here. Okay, so the, all right, so there isn't anything over there. I mean, I should know how the level's laid out because I played through this level before, so I don't know why I'm even going backwards to, to see if there's anything there. Yeah, that's another thing that I've been having a habit of doing is that there's times where I just check back to the same spots that I've already checked, and then I just say to myself, hey, there, there really isn't stuff there, so it makes no sense for me to even go back there. But it's all good, you know. Coins over here about this weird octopus jellyfish looking guy pretty i'm sure those are like jellyfishes or I, I, I assume that's what they're supposed to resemble all right i also have another gummy worm right there but we're not doing that mission because we already did it all right we have 54 coins we have half of the coins that we need for this level And this is indeed uh, the last mission in uh, level two. So what's, so after we do this mission, we'll be done with everything in the second level, which is great. All right, we got 72 coins so far. We're doing a really good job here. Right, we got 78 coins now. We got more coins right here. <clears throat> Alright, so we have 91 coins, so we are almost done with this mission. So 
we just need three more coins. Wait, hold up, I'm missing a coin. Great. <laughs> Alright, let's go and find that last coin, everyone. And then once I do find that last coin, I will pause the recording, and then I'll come back once I reach the end of the stage, because I am missing a coin. I'm down by one coin! It's crazy. Oh, here it is. Alright, we got all the coins. Alright, now we can just clear the level. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk any chances by, like, pausing the re like, 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 pausing the game and leaving out of the level, because I'm not sure this game acts like Catch McCoy, where you can just leave out of the level after you clear a mission. I'm not sure that's the way how this game works, so I'm not even gonna attempt doing that, so... I'm just gonna clear the level and just we're gonna move on. Because not once have I tried to leave out of the stage after clearing a mission, because I'm not sure if this game structures the same way as Cactus McCoy, where you can leave out of the level after you clear a mission. So I'm not even gonna risk doing that, because I don't wanna have to, I don't wanna do that, realizing that, oops, I do have to clear the level in order to clear the mission. So I'm not even gonna bother doing it. <laughs> All right, with that said, Level two has been cleared. We cleared every all. We cleared everything in the second level, which is great. All right. So next up, we're gonna head to level three, and we're gonna be rescuing Foodini, and we're going to do the NPC mission with the gliding character. So let's go ahead and get started with that, and then we'll be moving on to a level four afterwards. Yeah, Fudini is another gliding character, so we're gonna use him uh, to do the NPC mission. So yeah, um, I do have I do have some other ideas for Let's Plays that I will be doing on this channel after I am done with this game. Uh, I do Cadgis McCoy 2. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you guys, um, after this game, I will be doing Cadgis McCoy 2. And, and then after I do that game, I, I will redo my Papa Louie 2 Let's Play. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know on that. So, um... <clears throat> the other games that I do plan on doing, um, there is another Flipline Studios game that I've never played before, that I will be giving it a try, and that is called uh, Steak and Jake. Uh, that's another one of Flipline Studios' uh, forgotten IPs. Uh, there's two games in that series, I've never played them before, so I will be doing a blind playthrough of that game in the future. And there's a second game uh, called Midnight March. So that's um, another Let's Play to be looking forward to in the future that I'll be doing. And I do plan on doing more Mario Flash games in the future, because I've only did a few of them 
And since Mario is my favorite Nintendo franchise, it will be cool to do uh, Let's Plays on those fan-made Mario games, whether it's a Flash game or one of those fan-made games on those fan websites or whatever. So yes, I will be tackling those games in the future. And yeah, those are the only other games that I have to uh, consider doing. Okay, I really gotta be careful here, because I, I do not want to have to die here because I'm doing terrible gameplay, because this isn't a hard level. As, as, you, as you can see there, I, I purposely got attacked by those enemies for, for no apparent reason. Yeah, usually I wouldn't make a, like an update video talking about my, my next projects I'll do, but sometimes I'll announce them in my actual Let's Play. So we're gonna crash through this wall here. And I do believe this is where you unlock through Dini. So you step on the switch and it will open all these doors. Well, not all of the doors, have the, there's, it only opens one of each of the doors, so. This is gonna be like a puzzle here, so this should be interesting. All right, hold on, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. All right, let's come over here. And here's our second switch. All right, so we have three more switches to open or doors to open. Yeah, there was Fudini right there, just as I thought. All right, so now we got two more switches to open. find those switches that is but we'll find them I'm not sure if they're all in the same area you know what hold on let me go back because it might be all in this same one area so I'm just gonna have to look real hard uh, to find those switches oh no You can't come down there. Yeah, there has to be um, a, a way to uh, do this. And I'm not really sure on how you do it. <laughs> but we'll find out. Oh, here it is. Okay. Alright, so we just need to find the last switch. Here's the last switch. Alright, we did it. <sighs> Alright, we've rescued Fudini, and I think... All right, never mind. I don't even know why I said I think. Like, we also have to do that gliding mission, that, and that's gonna be the last mission in level three. And yes, he is a, a gliding character, just as I thought. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do that level right now. So we're gonna buy that costume for him. All right, so change of clothes, buy 10 new outfits, styles for customers. So we're gonna go ahead and do the gliding mission now. Had to rescue, not, no, not rescue, had to talk to those NPCs. It's 
So yeah, um, Fudini's weapon is a balloon. Because he is a, a he's like a ringmaster. Uh, he's the guy who hosts the mini games and the later Pop Louie games. And they're going again, freaking getting attacked by enemies for for some strange reason. All right, so here's our first NPC, and his name is Rocky Road. Hello there, I'm Rocky Road. Welcome to Napoli Town. So there's five NPCs that we have to talk to. Alright, so here's the second NPC. Who is this, this old man? Wait, hold on, I'm gonna have to, uh... Alright, there we go. This new face, I'm Mr. Sherbet, of course. Alright, so we got Rocky Road, Mr. Sherbet. Alright, so now we have uh, three more to find. I do believe you're gonna have to uh, come all the way up there to do this one. Alright, so we're gonna bounce on this awning, and you want to jump up here and glide all the way over here. Wait, am I doing this right? Hold on. Or unless I have to jump from another height. Oh, here's another one. Howdy, I'm Betty Be I'm Betty Pecan. This place sure is the same since Luau Le Punch came. So we have this southern ice cream cone lady named Betty Pecan. Alright. Yeah, that's for uh, the uh, wall climbing thing. All right, let's go ahead and find those last two NPCs since there's nothing else we can do here. I right, get out of my way, Mr. Bananas. But, or Blanabos or Bananas, whatever you want to call them. Alright, anything here? Alright, yes. Hello, I'm Jill Berry. Those baddies down there are so... They're so gross. All right, so we got Jill Berry, and uh, the last NPC we saw him uh, many times in these in these past videos. Um, he's like towards the end of the stage, so. Yep, there he is. There's the last NPC. Bounce on this awning. And there we go. 
found all the locals. Wait, what, what, what's your name? I could clean up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the freaking um little banner up there it covered up this dialogue, so I couldn't read his name. So unfortunately, we will we will not know the name of this guy right here. So yeah, blame the game. But with that said, um, those are all of the missions in level three. We've did everything. All right, so now we're gonna wrap things up in this video and do all the remaining missions of level four. And we are gonna switch back to Lisa for that. So for this level, we're gonna rescue Johnny and we're gonna defeat the 10 Sunday sources, which are the only two missions that we can do in this video or for this level. Yeah, sorry if I keep making all these mistakes with my dialogue, but that is to be expected if you're not scripting these videos, but this is a let's play. There usually is unscripted, so you will be making mistakes. Avoid those. Come on. All right, got another Sunday source right here. All right, you're dead. And we're gonna dash our way through these blocks. All right, come on. I don't wanna have to die here, cause that'll be embarrassing. All right, there's our checkpoint. Uh, yeah, I keep forgetting that the, the balloon just keeps going up and up, you know, so you can't jump off of it until, you know, it's, re you know, it's ready to when, when it, when it is time to jump off of it. I not put anything here but those blocks that, that requires ground pounding. Which I'm pretty am sure that our ground pounding character will be in level five, hopefully. But I'm pretty am sure they will be in level five. Now let's come down here to see if there's anything special. All right, we got some more cracker blocks that we can dash through. All right, we got six Sunday sources and here's our seventh one. All right, we just need three more. <laughs> yeah, the stupid music. <laughs> I like how these balloons have like lemon limes on it. it kind of resembles uh, like Sprite or a Seven Up or whatever you know, refer it to as, or Starry. Yeah, I've only had Sprite and Seven Up, but I think I've had Starry like once. I think it was like like at a KFC or something. But yeah, it's all right. Nothing will beat Sprite. Sprite is the top tier lemon lime soda. Alright, the last Sunday source is right across from us, so 
right here. All right, we defeated all the Sunday sources. And now we can rescue Johnny, who is right over here, I think. And if, yeah, yeah, nah, he's not over here. He's all the way up there on the roof. So we are gonna ride this Ferris wheel. Yeah, I got the name right this time. I didn't call it a freaking carousel like I did in the last video. Silly me. Oh boy, does this does that look like a, a carousel to you? No. All right, I'm doing something wrong here. Let me uh go back and ride the Ferris wheel all the way to the top. All right, let's see how we're going to get all the way up there. Okay, I see now. All right, so. We're going to come all the way down here. There we go. And we're gonna ride this balloon all the way to Johnny, which is great. Marciano Mart. Hmm, that's a very interesting name for a building. Yes, this balloon is moving very, 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 very slowly. Like, come on now, can this name not go any faster? But now it's just slowly moving its way over to the left. Like any time now, any time now. So, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm just playing Papa Louie 3. Alright. Alright everyone, this will conclude another part of Papa Louie 3. We've rescued Johnny. And yeah, now we can actually move on to level 5 in the next video. So yeah, until next time. Oh, he's wall climbing. Alright, that's cool. So yeah, until next time, we'll be heading over to level 5. This has been Eevee the Original Master, signing out.